The crisp and refreshing flavor of cucumbers is a favorite taste worldwide. But have you ever wondered how farmers grow millions of cucumbers year-round, even in colder climates? The answer lies in high-tech greenhouses. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes to show you a single greenhouse can produce over 500,000 cucumbers every year. Our journey begins with the cucumber seedlings, the foundation of every greenhouse crop. In high-tech greenhouses, cucumbers are often started using soilless seeding methods. Instead of soil, seeds are placed in materials like rock wool, or coconut choir, which support the seedlings without the need for traditional earth. This method provides several benefits, including faster growth, better control over nutrients, and fewer soil-borne diseases. In fact, studies show that cucumber seeds germinate up to 20% faster in rock wool compared to traditional soil. This speed is crucial for large-scale production, as it allows greenhouses to optimize time and maintain a high rotation rate for continuous yield. The environment around these young plants is carefully monitored. Temperature, humidity, and light levels are controlled to ensure optimal growth conditions. Cucumbers germinate best in temperatures around 24 degrees Celsius, and humidity levels are kept high to prevent the seedlings from drying out. As the seedlings grow stronger, they're ready for transplanting. Transplanting is a critical stage as it marks the move from the nursery area to the main greenhouse planting beds. Here, each plant is carefully transferred to its permanent spot, giving it access to optimal space, light, and resources for the next phase of growth. Now, we're in the main planting area of the greenhouse. These spaces are enormous, some covering up to 10 acres, allowing for the growth of hundreds of thousands of cucumber plants to keep production constant. Each plant is carefully prepared and set on a mat or in a pot, giving it a strong foundation. First, each plant is secured with a small stick to help it grow straight. Next, a water dropper is added, giving each plant a direct, controlled water source for efficient hydration. This initial setup helps each cucumber plant get exactly what it needs without waste, with each plant receiving 1 to 2 liters of water per day, depending on its size and stage of growth. Once the plants are in place, it's time to train them to grow upward. In the greenhouse, space is precious. Each cucumber plant is attached to a rope hanging from the crop wire at the top of the greenhouse, encouraging the plant to grow vertically. By training plants to grow upward, greenhouses can fit 20 to 30 percent more plants in the same area, maximizing yield and improving light exposure for every plant. Throughout this stage, greenhouse workers wrap the rope around each plant, supporting it as it grows taller and ensuring it remains stable. As the plants grow, the rope needs to be tightened and adjusted regularly to keep them upright. This process is essential because cucumbers are fast growing and ensuring the plant stays stable is key to preventing breakage. By tightening and later lowering the plant as it gets taller, greenhouse staff can guide its growth along the rope supporting it right up to the crop wire. Lowering also creates room at the top of the plant for new growth, ensuring that it continues to climb vertically without overcrowding the greenhouse space. Once the plants grow beyond easy reach and become heavier with cucumbers, workers use clips to secure each plant to the rope more effectively. Clipping is especially useful in high wire cultivation, where plants can grow over 12 feet tall. Using clips instead of twisting offers stronger, more stable support and reduces the chance of damaging the plant. Electric carts help workers reach the upper sections for clipping as the plants grow taller, ensuring each cucumber plant remains upright and well-supported throughout its life cycle. To produce the best cucumbers, plants undergo regular pruning and thinning. Pruning removes side shoots, redirecting energy to the main stem and improving fruit quality. Side shoots are pruned frequently to keep the plant focused on growing large, healthy cucumbers. Thinning removes early fruits, allowing the plant to grow stronger. This method can boost total yield by 15 to 20 percent over the season, as plants concentrate their resources on producing higher quality cucumbers. By pruning and thinning, greenhouses ensure each plant's energy is used efficiently, leading to consistent and productive growth. As cucumber plants mature, they develop a dense canopy of leaves. While healthy, too many leaves can block sunlight from reaching the cucumbers and make harvesting more challenging. Regular leaf removal allows more light to reach the fruit, improving the quality and making harvest easier. In traditional setups, leaf removal is done just a few times per season, while high wire systems require more frequent pruning to keep plants open and accessible. After several weeks of growth, the cucumbers are finally ready for harvest. In these greenhouses, skilled workers manually harvest each cucumber, inspecting everyone for the ideal size, color, and firmness. This hands-on approach ensures only fully mature cucumbers are picked, helping to maintain consistent quality for consumers. Timing is crucial, as cucumbers reach their best flavor, texture, and nutritional quality when they are between 6 and 8 inches in length and weigh about 350 to 400 grams. As each cucumber is individually assessed, 
Workers check for signs of optimal ripeness, which guarantees a uniform taste and texture across the crop. Harvesting cucumbers by hand is both precise and gentle, reducing the risk of bruising or damage to the plant and the fruit itself. This method also allows workers to navigate the dense greenhouse rows efficiently. The result is a steady supply of fresh, high-quality cucumbers. Once harvested, cucumbers go through a detailed sorting and packaging process. They travel along a conveyor belt to sorting stations, where both skilled workers and automated systems inspect each cucumber, removing any that are damaged, discolored, or misshapen. Advanced weighing systems sort cucumbers by size and weight, ensuring consistency for the market. To maintain hygiene, workers wear hairnets, gloves, and protective overcoats, keeping the process clean and safe. Sorted cucumbers are packed into crates designed to prevent bruising during transport, then moved to a cool storage area set at 10 to 12 degrees Celsius to keep them fresh until distribution. This streamlined process enables greenhouses to prepare thousands of cucumbers daily for market, delivering them at peak quality. Each year, the greenhouse undergoes a full reset three times to prepare for new cucumber crops. First, all cucumber plants are removed from the crop wires, and leftover plant material like stems and roots is collected for composting, creating natural fertilizer for the next cycles. Machines assist with clearing out soil beds and hydroponic systems, making cleanup faster and more thorough. Every surface, including floors, walls, and the greenhouse roof, is then disinfected. Cleaning the roof alone can improve light penetration by up to 20%, so this regular reset keeps the greenhouse in optimal condition for each new batch of cucumber plants. And that's the journey of greenhouse cucumber farming from start to finish. From soilless seed planting to end-of-season cleanup, every step in this high-tech process is designed to maximize yield, minimize waste, and produce fresh, delicious cucumbers all year round. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of greenhouse farming, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into modern agriculture.